Kelvin, how come you have never taken me to your hospital? Uh, uh, um, uh, that's because you never asked. Okay, now I'm asking. Let's go there now. I want to see it. Oh, oh, okay. Go and freshen up. Let's go. Now you are talking. <laughs> Honey, I'll be going to the market now. But I thought you already went to the market yesterday. Uh, yes, yes, but I forgot some ingredients, so I'll be going back to collect it. Hmm. Okay, no problem. Don't stay too long. You know Annabelle's entrance exam is today. Sure. What took you so long? I've been waiting for you. Baby, you know I'm a married woman. My husband was asking so many questions. Hmm, you should do and divorce that your husband though. I mean, he has nothing to offer. He is poor. But look at me, I am a rich guy. <laughs> I will spoil you. You know I've liked you since we were in secondary school. I know. <laughs> the only reason I'm still with my husband is because of Annabelle, my daughter. I understand, but I can give you and your daughter a better life. You know what? Let's just forget about it. How are you doing? You know I've missed you so much and I know you have missed me. Of course. <laughs> You slept over outside again? I thought you said you were going to the market. Mike, please. I'm not in the mood for all this. I slept over at my mom's place now. I got an emergency call that she's not fine. I didn't bring her here because I know you can't afford to pay for her drugs. Please leave me alone, oh. Be quiet, Maka. <sighs> Daddy, don't mind mommy. You couldn't make a brother sing No ordinary thing Supernatural being And who you are Rather than the Ah My wife You are eating No I'm playing football Nonsense uh, Um, I, I checked the pot And it's empty Yes So where is my food? I'm very famished You know I haven't eaten since morning There is no food for you did you drop money for food? I beg shift, you poverty streaking man. You don't even have shame at all. Your mates are out there hustling. You are here depending on your wife for food. Come and eat me now. No, come and eat me. Nonsense. Go and make money. Oh. God, why? Daddy, Daddy, you have not eaten since morning. Please take this food, Daddy. What? But how did you get it? It's my food. Don't worry, Daddy. You can eat it. But, 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 but what about you? You need to eat first. Don't worry about me. Daddy, it's okay. Just eat. I'm not hungry. You are my African queen in the know. Yes, Papa. Don't worry. The sacrifice renewal will soon be ready. Yes, I know I have one more week left. Yes, I will bring a human being intestine and heart. Okay, Baba.
<laughs> okay, I need to go inside now before my husband sees me. Okay, no problem. Take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, don't miss me too much. Don't worry, I'll come back tomorrow. Bye. I love you. I will transfer some money into your account. Oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> You're the best. Mommy. Yes, Annabelle. Ahem, I forgot to tell you, I've paid for your graduation gown in school. Your father doesn't have money to pay for it. It's just a lazy thing. Mom, don't say that. It's not his fault. You know he lost his job a few years ago. And so what? He's not a hustling. He's a rich and church rat. Mommy, don't say that. Um, anyways, Mom, I saw you kissing and hugging someone in front of our gate. Who is he? Are you cheating on daddy? Uh, uh, no. Y y yes. Um, no. I, I mean, no. He's just a friend. He was my classmate in secondary school. Is that why you were kissing and hugging him? Ah, uh, no now. It's just gestures. I was just appreciating him because he gave me money. <sighs> Look, Annabelle. Don't ever tell your father about it. He's the one that has been giving me money that we have been using to survive in this house. So, you know you have school fees to pay. So just keep your mouth shut. Unless you want us to die of hunger. Your father doesn't provide for us, so you know he's poor. Okay, mommy. Kevin, remember you just have three days before the sacrifice renewal expires. Remember, you must bring a human heart and intestine. Then bring it here before you eat it. If you don't do accordingly, you know the consequences. Yes, Baba, I do. Don't worry, I already have someone. I will bring a healthy human heart and intestine, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, that's not how to do it. Sarah, you are going out again? And how is that your business? All you know how to do is to monitor my every move in this house. I'm going to meet my mother. She promised to give me money. Since a grown man like you cannot provide for his family, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at him. Poverty streaking. Rubbish. Daddy, don't mind mommy. You know that's how she behaves. She wasn't like this before until I lost my job. Out of that house soon. Oh. That man is just monitoring my every move. Now you are talking. You should leave him. He doesn't deserve you. You should be with someone like me that will take care of you. I will spoil you, baby. <laughs> uh -huh. What about that hair I told you about? I want to get it. Born straight. Okay, baby. I will transfer the money into your account right away. Oh, thanks, Kevin. That's why I love you. <laughs> you are my African girl. The girl of my dreams. You take me where I never be. Mommy, you brought me from school to someone's house. Mom, let's go home. I'm hungry. I need to eat. Will you shut up your mouth? This is Kelvin's house. We'll eat here before we go home. Remember, we don't have food at home. 
What about daddy? So he won't eat? Who cares? He should go and hold you. Is he not seeing his mates? Look at Kevin's house. Even if your father sells his two kidney, he won't be able to afford this house. Oh. Mommy, this thing you are doing is not fair. Come on, will you shut up your mouth? Let's go inside. And do not ever in your life mention all this to your father. Do you understand? Y ye yes, mommy. Annabelle, did you enjoy the food? Yes, she surely did. Everyone knows you're a good cook. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, it's getting late. Let's go now. You know daddy is the only one at home and I would also like to bring food for him too. Excuse me, let me take this call. Hmm. What is who? No, what is who? You always like bringing that wretched poor man into the conversation. Is he not your husband? Yes, Baba. I will bring the human heart and intestine. Yes, Baba. Next tomorrow. Out of a million. Where is your father? He's in his room sleeping. I'm sure he slept off while waiting for us. Who cares? I beg, let him sleep. Um, mommy, I wanted to talk to you about Kevin. Keep your voice down. What about him? Mommy, I don't trust that guy at all. I have a very bad feeling about him. Hmm, what do you mean? The other day, I overheard this conversation. He was talking to someone on the phone and he said something about bringing human heart and intestine. That's because he's a medical doctor. He worries too much. Mommy, I doubt. I have a very bad feeling about him. Please stay away from him. Besides, since he claims he's a medical doctor, has he taken you to his hospital before? And that's because I never told him to take me there. You worry too much. Let's just go and sleep a bag. I'm so exhausted. Baba, don't worry. I will bring the human heart and intestine today. Yes, Baba. Trust me. <laughs> She has gone out again? I'm sick and tired of all this. I need to go and tell her mother about all this. Since she said she has been going to her mother's house. Hmm. You are brighter than the moon. Brighter than the stars. I love you just the way you are. You are my African queen. What? Mama, so you mean you have not seen Sarah for the past one year now? But she told me she has been coming here since. Oh my god. So where could she be going to? I have not seen her in a long time now. She doesn't come here at all. She only sends money sometimes. Sends money? But she told me you have been the one sending money to her. I haven't so. I don't have one kobo. I have just been surviving with the money that she sends to me sometimes. Hmm. So, where could she have been getting all this money from? I need to get to the root of all this. Mama, I have to go now. Kelvin, how come you have never taken me to your hospital? Um, 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 that's because you never asked. Okay, now I'm asking. Let's go there now. I want to see it. Oh, oh, okay. Go and freshen up. Let's go. Now you are talking. <laughs> ah! Can 
you imagine? Sarah's mom said she hasn't been going to her house. Look at the time. It's already late and she's not back yet. Your mother has been lying about her whereabouts. Where could she be? Daddy, I... I, I know something. You do? Come on, tell me Annabelle. What is it? <laughs> I just can't hide it anymore. Mommy has been going to see another man. I caught them kissing and touching each other in front of our compound. When I confronted her about it, she told me that the man was her classmate in secondary school and he has been the one giving her money that we have been using to survive. So she warned me not to tell you anything about it or else I'll drop out of school. What? How? How can she do this to me? Annabelle, why didn't you tell me all these things? Why? Are you really sure of what you are saying? Yes, daddy. I'm very sure. Mom even took me to the man's house that day. Then I overheard him talking to someone on the phone. He said something about bringing human heart and intestine. Daddy, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you all about it earlier. I was scared, but my conscience has been judging me. I couldn't hold it anymore. I have a bad feeling all about this. How about mom? Okay, let's go there immediately. I need to quickly take this to the native doctor so I can eat the heart and intestine. <laughs> Money! Sarah, you are such a fool. Oh no! What have you done to my wife? Mommy, <laughs> I said it. I knew something was off with this guy. I warned mommy all about this, but she didn't listen. She was blinded by riches. Annabelle, call the police now. Police, this is the ritualist. Arrest him. He will rot in jail. Young man, you're under arrest for murder. Anything you say I'll do will be used against you in your court of law. Now, move it! Hey, uh, officer, I didn't do anything. I, I... Shut up your mouth. You have been caught in the arts. How can you do such a thing? My wife, Sarah. How could she do such a thing? Lying to me and following another man all because of money. Now look at the results. Officer, arrest him! Oh yeah! Movies! You ritualist! You will rot in jail! Only God knows the number of naive people you have used to gain all these worlds! Move it! Hey! 